This is Daily Blast Live. We're talking about what you're talking about. Get real. You all ready for this? Mm -hmm. Dun 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 dun. No. Dun. no. Y all, y all, just this stop. This is a sham. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hey, what's up? Welcome to DBL. We're just no I like how you, you act like you're like the audience is being a little rude. Like, oh, I guess you, it's your turn now. Hang on a second, guys. Yeah, we're in the middle of a good conversation. We were talking about, I got like a little thing on my eye if you want to zoom in. I was playing with the kids in the pool, but I busted like a little... You have to look all the way to the left. Yeah, you have to look the other. There it is. But I just didn't want people thinking like, man, this guy, what's he hitting a little uh, yeah, party Colorado's right finest <laughs> before the show? You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, well, I'm not allowed to say that. It's access. No, let's have, let's have some fun. Okay, okay. It's Friday. Everybody loosen up. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's Jeff's get to it. got the black jacket on. That's like Tiger on Sunday with the red. Yeah, That's right. I brought All it black. back. I brought it back. All right, so Martha Stewart, Stewart celebrated her 81st birthday a couple of days ago, and we're getting a look inside the party. These pictures were posted on Daily Mail, and Ooh. guests were treated to a gorgeous table setting, of course, and there's Martha oh, blowing out her candles. So after 81 years, Martha definitely has earned the right to say whatever she wants. I say 75, and you're good to go, 100%. whatever you want to say. 100%. And boy, Boy, has she. So, we wanted to share some of her best sassy moments. That reminds us why everybody loves her. Starting with this gem, right? Remember when she talked about dating her friend's husband? Hilarious. <laughs> That's where I meet men. They're all, they're all married to friends of mine or something like that. I always think, oh gosh, couldn't that person just die? <laughs> the wife, yeah, not not painfully, just die. Just and then slowly leave, pass leave. away. <laughs> yeah, but it, it hasn't worked out. No, man, no. <laughs> Listen, I think my grandmother says anything she wants, as you guys all know yes. on Instagram. But I feel like she has a limit too, and that should be somebody's father and somebody dying for you to get their man. It should be the limit. But I'm keep cool. I'm keeping the 75 of an up rule. Yeah. I'm keeping it. And her, whatever she wants. Her deadpan satire, I just like like Stephen Wright. It's so good. I mean, it's like I wish they would die. Yeah. It's got a great little tone to it. It's her honesty, and that, that you know she was getting legitimate laughs in the studio because everybody. It's so disarming when somebody's like, "That's the only time I can meet him, guys." With my he's with my best friend. It's yeah. like. People are like, all right, it's how you feel. It's, uh, people like that. Yeah. Okay, so how about this one, Tori? You remember what Martha said about Gwyneth Paltrow's special scented candle? Oh, God, I agree with her. She does um, that kind of irritating, re <laughs> you know, she, she's trying to, she's trying to, Zhuzh up the public to listen to her. Okay. And that's great. I mean, let her do her thing. Okay. And, um, and I, I, I wouldn't buy that candle. <sighs> Honest. Honest? But, hey, Sounds like hating to me. It was a yeah, little hating. Like, she could have well, spun a little joke. Like, I'm not going to buy that candle. She was mad about little it. Little context. Okay. Who started the goop line? Who thought of all of lifestyle? Gwyneth. Martha Stewart. She is the OG of that company. You and like feels like Gwyneth Paltrow intruded and took over her spot with useless things. In life, you know, somebody usually lays a blueprint for all things. True. Things follow. True. It's like, you know, first there was MySpace. You're is right. that a thing anymore? No. You're, You're absolutely right. You have to but move over for the new Facebook and now Instagram. I like the bitter. Speaking of MySpace, I want to I want to like interview Tom. Remember Tom? Yeah, where's he at? Yeah, what, what happened to Tom? Why isn't he more famous? He probably is sit, resting on his laurel somewhere yeah. in a billion bucks. But you know he's like drinking at a bar. He's like, remember MySpace? <laughs> and Tom. You know what I mean? Like, what's he doing now? I want to know what's he's happening. Maybe he owns that. his own clothing company. He's crushing life. Who knows? I want to Tom, Google that. If you're out there, I want to talk to you. All right. And finally, that time when Martha told Bethany Frankel that she was unlikable right to her face. You didn't like me, to be honest with you. Well, you weren't so likable then. Oh, you oh, that's weren't. What I to, that's no, what I you weren't. You were a pest. You were a pest. <laughs> she was. <laughs> she was a pest. Oh my God. Okay, so, so just you know, too, she, Bethany Frankel started reality TV by being her assistant on trying to be Martha Stewart's assistant. On wow, TV. I did not know so that. So they have a long, long history. And Bethany Frankel from then was taken to Bravo and all this stuff. Her first job was trying to be Martha Stewart's assistant. So they have a past together. I always say I prefer when people are very direct with me. I think if someone called me a pest, I would be highly offended. But I appreciate letting me know that I'm annoying you a little bit. So I'm I think with you. I would with take you. Just that. give it to me. Right. Give it to me straight, and I know where we stand, right? I don't have to beat around the bush. Right? I, I, I love I, like it, you. would love her. I love Martha. And <laughs> yep, you guys know how I feel about Snoop, and I love their relationship. Yeah, yeah. And Snoop Dogg, and this is a, almost a direct quote. He said, rappers like Takashi 6 9 everybody snitched. When, it's, when they're talking about some years to go to jail, Martha Stewart didn't say anything, and she went and did 
bit her time. Amen. Martha is a gangster. Gangsta. 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 She just doesn't have the neck tattoos and the, and the thug I life over the stomach. Amen. But she, her and Little Kim, who no one gives props to, Little Kim did not lie on the stand. She didn't give anybody up, and she went to jail. So I don't know. A lot of people talk about it. Some people live it. Wow. I can't believe True Shout gangster. out Martha. Wow. True gangsters. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is definitely a Friday story. A suspect in Georgia is going viral. Police are on the hunt for this man who looks a lot like Bradley Cooper. He was accused of stealing a rotary laser from a Home Depot. One person online commented, you know it's hard times when Bradley is having to steal. If I was Bradley Cooper, I'd be huh. offended. <laughs> I, I, uh, I guess. How do we think? Offended. No, I think I think he did. I think there's a resemblance for definitely sure. Definitely a resemblance. I think you maybe could... not the body, but the face. Lindsay, what do you think? In that blurred 1982 picture, <laughs> that doesn't look like me. I <laughs> what? I think they're reaching with that one. I All think right. there's some other ones that are that are way close. I don't know if we have the David Schwimmer one, like the that thief, but like he's Easy way close. Yeah, that's that guy. Exactly. Oh, calling for it. All right, yeah, here we go. Yeah, that is exact spot he on. Stole something. <laughs> Rachel's heart. Are these all? <laughs> that was good. Are these all klepto mugshots or like pictures of people stealing? Yeah, both were stealing. Oh wow. Okay, so we have another one for you. Check out this baby. Okay, that was a good one, uh, Al, who went viral for looking a lot like Woody Harrelson. I saw, <laughs> I saw this online. It's hilarious. And Woody also agrees. He even wrote this poem. <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> oh, to Cora, you're an adorable child. Flattered to be compared. You have a wonderful smile. I just wish I had your hair. How so would he acknowledge you? it? That's amazing. That's, That's funny. That's funny. Wait, can I ask you a question about babies? What are those teeth that came in? Is that weird or no? No, they just grow wherever. They Could do? be one here, one over there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, They're it's just random. One pops up. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. 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 But oh. yeah, he looks like Woody Harrelson in Zombieland. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Doesn't he? Yeah, totally. I mean, I really, I, like, Woody Harrelson's one of those people like, I love of his career he he did the sitcom thing yeah. with cheers did the 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 the, the series with HBO, hbo and obviously he's been the white man can't jump he did all that stuff but he's still fun and online he's in uh 420 marijuana advocate which is hilarious Amazing. because if you look at the interview that rosie perez gave about him and wesley snipes when they brought her out on that award show like what was happening backstage it is hilarious he's a hilarious harmless beautiful i love him he, I love he it. appeared I love on this it. last season of curb he was yeah. really oh my funny. god really <laughs> yeah it was really funny episode so, on there. Would you frame that for your kids? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's one that really makes me laugh all the time because I love Chris Farley. Did you ever see the Chris Farley baby? No. There's one. Uh, do we have the, do we still Chris have Chris Farley that? looks like Look oh Chris my Farley gosh. baby. Oh my gosh. Isn't that, like, oh. I would frame that. Yeah. That'd be, like, in my living room. Oh, so you'd frame the side by side, not For the tweet. For sure. I mean, Chris Farley's my, you know, when you're, my kids take crazy pictures. They didn't look like any celebrities, but there's some, like, where Lawson has hair over here. He looks like Doc from, like, uh, <laughs> Back, Back to the, the Future. Right. Like, just some crazy <laughs> photos. And I think that's cute. People are like, don't make fun. I I like to make fun, Absolutely. even of my own children. That's Absolutely. the best way to do it. Yeah, little you can have at it. Yeah, yeah. My mom, I love my that mom just bought Kinsley this beautiful outfit, and I tried to take a picture of her. It has a bow, and she was like, ah! Every picture is like <laughs> pulling the bow. I'm like, forget it. Well, aren't those the best? I just like, sent them to my mom. Like, here's what you're getting. The crazy <laughs> pictures, is. like we saw that classic one of Lawson with the Easter Bunny, and it's like he's so hysterical. Sad. I mean. <laughs> Like so the scared. devil has him and he's pulling. Think about it. it. That was, thing is huge. Yeah. But it's but it's so funny to me. It's like I'm like afraid. I love it. Wait till Am I a terrible Santa. father? Am I terrible? You know, Brooks, no. when Brooks was little, he met Walter Payton and he got overwhelmed by meeting him. And it's just him smiling and him going like this. He couldn't do it. But isn't that a cute picture to him now? Or is he still it. like, I blew it. He did, but they framed it. I know. I would frame it too. I'd frame it too. Good stories. All right. Coming up on DBL, our interview with the queen of YouTube, Glozelle Green. How doing YouTube challenges changed her her life but first a new show called dating and related Ew. wow we're running out of ideas it's coming to Netflix and it's not well, they're not actually okay related. all yeah. right well that's a good little tease because I'd come back that's illegal <laughs> <laughs> closed captioning provided by I think it is one of those stories we're all gonna be like, what? So Who raised yeah. you? Why am I right all the time? <laughs> am I going crazy? Welcome to another week of Jeff's Mustache. Wow. Hey, we are, now, we are, are you a mama's boy?
boys. No, I'm not. My mom and I are very no, close. Nobody proclaims their mama's boy, She's though. She's your mama's boy. No, you I mean, know, people don't realize that you're a mama's boy. Yeah, I feel like a mama's boy yeah, is like, the there's at least a phone call a day. Yeah, yeah. yeah fair. And my but mom really and I have close. like a close... I, I but do like you go to your mom about your issues before you go to your You ever see True Lies? No. Just because I don't want to overload. Like, my mom, she's already done all that. Like, she's retired in South Carolina. There's just one point if you watch, like, I'm in love with mama's boy, like, this guy is about to get married to his fiance, but, you know, his mom is not only like in their wedding, but like they were practicing dancing, and his mom took his wife's place, and he he patted his mom on the rear end. I'm just gonna be honest. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Players do that to each other. To your mom? I just said like players do it to each other. That's weird too. Yeah. Oh, that's a weird thing. I don't want anybody smacking me on the side. Why do sports players do that? Is it just like a good job thing? Yeah. I like it. Is it annoying? Like, did I ask you to touch me? Or like, no. <laughs> I don't think they're in the huddle. <laughs> yeah. Jeff, I didn't care for <laughs> It's not like you're. I feel triggered. <laughs> <laughs> but if you say that, then it's like you're not being a good sport. What if you really don't feel like... like if you I'm came not, in like, the huddle and you're like, hey, feel triggered from that. Not the like, huddle. Somebody smacking you on your butt is different than a huddle. That, that's like, a good way to break like the It's not like a slap. I don't know. You're not like looking to slap their butt. I don't even remember if I did or didn't, but it's like just a slap way to go. But yeah, see, like, no, great Lindsay job, is trying to normalize what I said. I said that you on this take, show, like, this guy petted his mom on the rear end when they were practicing dancing. And I said football players do. And I was like, that cannot happen in any year. Would you ever slap your mom's butt? What if he didn't mean to? I came from home saying this question. I slapped my kid's butt. I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a tushy. Yeah, that's a tushy. That's though, yeah, yeah, that's a tuchus. But I like how everyone puts it into one context. Like, um, respect yeah. someone's body. But there's definitely, there's not, like, I wouldn't do that to my daughter now, though. But I would, right. like, if she, yeah, maybe if she's like, you would not, not do that. Well, you could be like, a little tuchus. Welcome back. Thanks, Lindsay. Helping me break down the prompt here. Would you look with your brother or sister for love? There you go. Mm. I, I didn't see that. Otherwise, I would have switched it before you go. <laughs> Take a look at this trailer. Did I not mention the catch? You'll be joined by your brother or sister who's also looking for love. Mm. How do you feel about me and him maybe sharing a bed? It's going to be weird. This is probably the first time I've kissed a girl in front of my sister. Oh. What's on the menu? What we having? Is it uh... me? I don't know. Can I so the show's called Dated and Related. So their twist on the dating show genre has siblings looking for love together. Netflix says it will be the most awkward <laughs> dating show in history. So will you be watching Al? No. Al. <laughs> Al loves these shows. No. I know that that those love are after lockup. Uh, all yeah. all those shows. Yes, 90 Day Fiance. Yeah. We could go on. <laughs> one you just named I'm, in love, I'm in love with the mama's boy. Oh it's also God. smothered. We'll get into that okay. later. But on, honestly, like I, I look at this and I, myself, I could not do that. But I, I think objectively, I think it's good to be able to look at your sister or brother as a person that is interested in physical love. I just I'm not at that. I'm not that mature. This seems like a garbage fire. It's trying to get our attention by Aren't saying all these shows. Yeah. yeah, but dated and related, you're clearly thinking, is this incest? So you tune in. It's awkward for a second. It's a gimmick, right? Like, it's just you a gimmick. You tune in. Wait a second. Are they cousins? <laughs> Everyone quiet. I've been <laughs> I, but I think it's a cute little hook. It's a funny little yeah, hook, but sure. I think it's incredibly uncomfortable, and I will be restraining. I think it would be That's hilarious to think about my sister and I dating, going on a double date, and she would be so she's such she thinks she's my mom, so she would be so in like the business of what I have going on that she wouldn't even be focused on her own <laughs> love, worried about scolding somebody, seeing if they're treating me right, just like mothering. That's and so of, that that's would be kind of funny to see if any other sibling relationships are like that. That's true. Jeff, I mean, what about you? I, you know, and I wouldn't, but I have you guys know any sets of twins? Yes. Like, Growing up, don't you think this is like a twin thing? Because the twins that I know have like this weird dynamic. Oh, it's more than like brotherly. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? It's oh, like yeah. they're almost dating. You yeah, know, it's well, like yeah. weird. So it's like something like that. I could see that working for mm -hmm. this show. It's like somebody coming in between the person you're most close to. Right. You know, like your twin is like literally. Yeah, they're usually like, side by side. Yeah, it's like time. they're a couple. Well, right. well, they are. A couple we interviewed that uh, the, the the two sets of twins that right. married each other. Right. At, and the reason I, I remember, I don't know if you remember, I asked them if they got married in, or met in Twinsburg, uh, Ohio, which is close to my dad's old 
Fieldhouse, where twins descend every year. All these twins as couples show up and they meet each other as kind of twin couples, if that makes sense. Well, there's sense. a different part of being a twin. Like when you're a baby and you're a twin and you're born and you're put in separate hospital beds, you don't do as well physically as if you're put back together again. Twins, like, don't fall asleep. That's a beautiful thing to oh, say. Oh, I thought we were talking about <laughs> twins. I didn't know. Here's I'm a, just saying. <laughs> twins TED Talk. Well, you guys, yeah, you tell me wow. about Twins Town, Ohio, and this, <laughs> twins, twins this burn. went way too far. Yeah, she's I'm like, like George twins. Washington's <laughs> cousin was a twin. <laughs> and he had wooden yeah. teeth. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was interesting. Sorry. The funny fact is they weren't wooden. It's all made up. <laughs> it's true, actually. Coming up on NTPL, we caught up with YouTube star Glozelle Green. She told us the vi She Listen, she's got some crazy viral challenges. Uh, did she recover from it? We'll find out. <laughs> Suffer. Yeah, guys, the average mortgage rate as of June 28th sat around 6.5%, while the highest savings account rate sat around 1.65%. So why are these two rates so different? Let's verify. Our sources are data from the Federal Reserve and Michael Obanoff with Wild Wealth Management. So far in 2022, the Fed has raised rates to try and curb inflation. As a result, we've seen interest rates double or even triple in some cases, while savings rates have remained stagnant or trickled upwards. But even though they're both called interest rates, they are calculated differently and represent different risks. The mortgage rate, generally speaking, is tied to 10-year treasury and the savings yields. Uh, banks can get away with just going off of what the Fed does once a month. See, mortgage rates have mirrored the 10-year treasury bonds for decades. These rates are based off time and risk. They are basically projections on where the market may be more than a decade from now. And because of that uncertainty, the rates are higher. On the other hand, banks usually base savings interest rates off of the short-term Fed rate. It doesn't have that same long-term risk baked into the numbers, and importantly, banks don't have to raise savings rates just because of the Fed. I know people want to make money in their savings account. It's no different than that bank that you're trying to get that yield from. They want to make money on your money as well. Now the good news here is that Obanoff does project savings rates will start to go up in the coming months, but likely not as fast as mortgage rates. So we can verify that mortgage and interest rates are based off different things and are not directly connected. Have something you want us to verify? Call, email, or text us. I'm Michael Doudna. Okay, I'm on my way to meet Peter at the park. Well, he don't know I'm gonna be there. He's always at the park. So I hope he like my new look. I'm gonna tell him I've been taking like yoga or Pilates. Yeah, that YouTube video went viral in 2008 at the start of YouTube, and now the OG YouTuber entertains her nearly 4.6 million subscribers with crazy challenges, song parodies, and her wacky takes. Earlier, we got to chat with the queen of YouTube, and she shoots her shot with Al, Glozelle Green. <laughs> Glozelle Green! <laughs> All right, let's jump right in. Thank you for in. having me. Absolutely. I love the lipstick, by the way. Thank you. I was looking for a new shade myself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's get into this. You have posted many challenges on your YouTube channel. Are there any that you regret? And a warning to our viewers, don't try these at home. My voice has not been the same since the cinnamon challenge, <laughs> so definitely don't do them. Okay, okay here's oh, a, oh, is this the oh cinnamon God, one no. right here? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh man. <laughs> How long did it take you to recover from that? Um, I haven't recovered from it. I, I have not. It burned my esophagus. Oh my yes. God. Really? It burned my esophagus and that is like damage that you can't undo. Oh and I used to sing, so I could sing for a little bit, but for the most part, my voice is, is gone because of that challenge. Wow. So don't do that at home. Yeah, yeah not a yeah, warning, don't, don't do don't it. Don't do that at home or at your house or, you, or at, at an office, don't do it anywhere. <laughs> So you got to interview former President Barack Obama. Who hasn't? Right? That's awesome. What was that like? You also made him laugh. Tell us about it. Oh, my goodness. First of all, today is his birthday, so happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yay! And I did. I didn't mean to make him laugh. I was trying to give him some green lipstick, but I said for your, you know, first wife, you know, not the first lady. And he was like, oh. 
is there something that you know that I don't, you know? Like, <laughs> A part of me is still at the White House because I died. I died right there. Uh, part of you died. You know, but I think that's why people yes. love you is because you are so authentically mm -hmm. you yes. in every situation, whether you were in your car uh, and you've just done some Pilates or you're in the White House, you're authentically you. So let's get to that. Gozelle, we all go through highs and lows, and you went through a divorce, as yes. did I. When did you realize oh. it was time so to you end single? things? <laughs> Let me do some Pilates first. <laughs> she said, oh. <laughs> I love it. So, like, you know, when did you realize it was time to end things? Because uh, this is probably going to happen to a lot of people, and, like, they follow you. So to, uh, walk us through it. Well, the person you marry is not the person you divorce. And oh. I was just so fixated on having a child, and today is her birthday also. Yeah. So we went through the oh, IVF. Look at that child. Yay. Yes. Today's her birthday. I planned it. It's, it's President Obama's birthday. So, yeah. You can. When, when you do IVF, you can plan birthdays you and gender. It so I did. Uh, you know, you try to make things work because you've been, you, you took so long to have a kid and then you're like, now I'm going to break up the family, so to speak. But you have to do what makes you happy. When my daughter's like, you're not happy and y'all not talking. I'm like, okay. But something needs to be done. Yeah. And it, it was hard because... You know, you, you want to keep face, and it. it's just so prestigious to be married, but, you know, they look good on Facebook. <laughs> Barbara, uh, Barbara Spindler wrote in, her facial expressions are magic. I completely agree. You are helping Chef Bruno Serrato and his nonprofit, Katarina's Club. Tell me what made you want to get involved in this specific foundation. First of all, I get fed. His food is amazing. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> he's helping the children and helping the homeless people and a lot of us are living from check to check. Okay, mm -hmm. I was in the food line just last year. Mm -hmm. So I understand, I relate when you go you go down, you come back up and you have somebody that's willing to help you. So let's talk about Bruno. Yes, yeah. that's the one to talk about. <laughs> that's amazing. I love I'm it. the only one who shouted that out because yeah. I got the joke. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> I got, the, I got young you know, kids. I got young kids. I have kids. Yeah, when you have kids, you get those little references. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> Chef Bruno, no, no. Glozel, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your story to our viewers. Now, everyone, listen up. You can make a donation to Katarina's Club, like she was saying, by visiting their website, katarinasclub.org. Literally, $5 can feed a family of four. Thank you for being authentic and relatable. We love you and your Come lipstick. Back. We yeah, we got to have you back. Nice. That's true. We'll be right back. Thanks, Glozel. Bye. Bye, love. Promotional consideration is brought to you by. Many people are looking for the best ways to stay cool without breaking the bank. Verify viewer Jennifer from Texas asked us to verify if one trick that's making the rounds online is true. Hello, Verify. This is Jennifer from Texas. And what I'd like to know is if covering your air conditioner unit with an umbrella really does help save with power costs and really does make your air conditioner run more efficiently. So Jennifer, let's verify. Our sources are Wes Davis, Technical Services Director for the Air Conditioning Contractors of America, Florida Solar Energy Center, and Energy Vanguard, a firm that focuses on training and consulting for building performance. Putting a shade over an outdoor AC unit like this one doesn't improve energy efficiency in any noticeable way, according to air conditioning expert Wes Davis. It's not statistically impactful. A 1996 study conducted by the Florida Solar Energy Center studied the impact of shading centralized AC units. According to the study, localized shading over a unit could in theory reduce electricity consumption, but the results weren't conclusive. In fact, it could make your AC unit perform worse. That's because the method of shading, like a tarp or an umbrella, could restrict airflow to the unit. Let me show you why that's an issue. The AC in a central air system works by first pulling the air from inside of your house and separating the heat from it. It then sends the heat out to the condenser, which is the box with a fan that sits outside of your house. The condenser's fan pulls the outside air into the unit, and then that air absorbs the heat before it's dumped back outside of the unit. In order to work properly, the outdoor portion of an AC unit requires air to flow over the coil and fan, according to Energy Vanguard. The company says objects placed directly overhead of the unit blocking the fan, like an umbrella or a tarp or even plant debris, could restrict the airflow and trap heat over the unit. If less air flows over the coil, less heat is removed, Energy Vanguard says. That means the whole cycle warms up a bit and your AC works harder to keep your home cool. 
So we can verify, no. Putting a shade over central AC's outside unit does not reliably reduce power cost or help it run more efficiently. And it could potentially make it run worse. With your Verify, I'm Ariande Till. Why can it seem harder to get sleep in the summer? Let's connect the dots. During the hot summer months, more people tend to report they have trouble going to sleep. And according to the New York Times, there is some evidence that seasonal changes can impact your sleep patterns. Some of that can be blamed on daylight saving time. It's because we're exposed to extra sunlight later in the day after the clock change. More light in the evenings can suppress our body's production of melatonin, the hormone that tells us when to get some sleep. And the hotter weather doesn't help. Your body temperature should fall by a few degrees before bed to help you get deep sleep. But the hotter your home, the harder it is to get cool. The best way to get back on track is to set a sleep schedule and stick to it and give your body time to unwind and get into a sleep mood. Lower the lights, relax, and turn off those devices at least an hour before bed. And that is Connecting the Dots. Planning any trips this year? If you're flying, Verify can help you save. From getting the best deals to reimbursement for lost bags, we answer your questions. Check out our travel stories at verifythis.com. Welcome back. Spending hours on your smart smartphone probably isn't good for your mental health, but did you know it could also be harming you physically? It's time for some joint and muscle support brought to you by Omega XL. So if you experience pain in your pinky, you need to get over it. I'm kidding. And your pinky finger, thumb, or neck, or elbow, it could be your smartphone's fault. Holding it for hours will stress you, your joints and muscles. Fortunately, taking a break from your phone to straighten and stretch your arms will help with the pain. But if you're already feeling tingling or numbness in any of those areas, it could be time to see a doctor. Omega XL has improved the lives of millions of consumers supported by 30 years of clinical research. Omega XL's powerful and proven benefits have transformed the lives of athletes celebrities and dedicated daily users call 1-800-686-5325 or visit omegaxl.com for more information nice well all done. right so we got a funny weather story before we go i haven't seen this video it's before. very good okay so we want to share this a weatherman in chicago go bears lost <laughs> lost it on air after he discovered that the screen behind him was a touch screen let's see <laughs> Right now, kind of hung up just a little bit. Oh, I moved the map. I didn't know I, I could do that. No way. Oh, Did you just discover that? I got to try it. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you believe that? Just touch it. You can go oh, anywhere you want. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> can I zoom? <laughs> oh, 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 man. It's a great day. <laughs> Nobody told him about that. No, and if you keep watching, he goes, does it, it tilts. Like, it keeps going and going. It's amazing. I love that. You would that think somebody would have gave him a heads up. Hey, we got this new screen. Like, if people get impressed about that. So, like, we got this new screen. You could do whatever you want with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're overexcited totally. about it, like the tech guys. I would have been the co-host co that runs over, like, let me try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On air. That's something totally we would do, yeah. right? We, I, oh, totally. It was so disarming how excited they were about it. Though. Yeah. They were both like, this is so cool. It's like, it was a really day. good moment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe Chicago. I wonder if people folks ever got the weather or what's going on with that. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> yeah, we got to We figure out how the screen works. Yeah, we got it. What's the barometric, uh, barometric pressure, Al? 29. No matter where you're at. No matter where you're at. But they'll put it on the screen every day. Mm -hmm. We'll see you guys on Monday. Have, enjoy the barometric pressure. Go barometric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go.